friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So today I would like to share with you this super fun tumbler. So this is for a teenage boy and it is Call of Duty. Turned out really good. So the background is all paint. The honeycombs are all done in paint. And then the decals all came from Google. I put them in to Cricut Design Space, use the print and cut feature, and I printed them on the Cricut printable vinyl. I like it because it's nice and thin. And then put on the decals. It only has epoxy on it one time, so I just did a full dose of epoxy the first time I put it on. And this is Cricut vinyl. Now, I initially was going to do the Call of Duty in paint like this, but as I was taking off the stencil, I had um, caused a place in it. I kind of picked down too deep for the stencil. So I ended up painting over it and then doing it this way, which I actually like much better. So here is this full tumbler. Sorry, the way the light hits it makes it, and it being black, makes it a little bit hard. To see, so you can see I did like a camo paint inside the honeycomb there. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this. I think it turned out super good. And I will attach the video of making it in case you'd like to see. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed day blessed, blessed, and beautiful day. Thank you, friends, and I'll see you later. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate the thumbs up for all the hard work. Have a good one. Bye. All right, so we're starting off with this black, black mat, and then I just printed out this stencil of a honeycomb pattern and put it on. And then I don't know if you can see it, but because it's in black, but this is Call of Duty down here. Now I'm going to just put it in the sprayer. So we are going to spray this with some paint. I'll show you what paint we're going to use. So I just went in and sprayed. I intentionally did a little bit of overspray. All right, for the sorry, it's a little bit hard for me to spray and film at the same time. So this is the black that I used. It's this Krylon High Heat. I like it because I like the finish it gives. So I always use that for my black. And then this Camouflage by Rust-Oleum. So this is like the brown color. I'm missing the lid. And then this is the green color. All right. All right, so I do still have to print the Call of Duty but I want to put this stuff on first and just, you know, make sure how much space I have. So these, I did a print and cut. And these are some of the different Call of Duty logos. And these will go...
now we got this one. This is again a print and cut. So this guy is going to go up here. All right, so now I'll do the Call of Duty. I'll put it here. name will go down here so we'll put All right, so I'm going to put the name right here. I decided to do gray because I felt like doing camouflage was going to be too much because I am still going to do a little bit of splatter spray over on this. So I thought that gray would look better. Duty right here. Okay. go all right so I'm gonna do a little bit of like overspray on this a little more and then we'll put some epoxy on it and I'll bring it to you when we're done <laughs> 